I saw a comment on another video asking about how Glenifer engines work. And fortunately here at the Scottish Maritime Museum, we've got one with clear Perspex panels that you can actually see all the bits working. Now, if we look at it from around this side, this is the inlet side. You, you'd have an air filter on there. This is your exhaust side, that's the exhaust pipe. And we can see this is where the cylinder head would be. And in there, we've got two valves. It's probably easy to show you the exhaust valve. We can see it. If I press this button, it's all going to start going around. That's the exhaust valve as your camshaft goes around. And you can see if you look closely, that one's, that one's working. There it goes. There's a push rod there that goes through to the other side, comes around and works the inlet valve. So the two valves are opposed to each other. And inside the cylinder head, in there, you've got a pre-combustion chamber. It was a spherical chamber, which is the exhaust valve and the inlet valve on opposite sides. Now, as that cylinder goes up and down, you can see, if I push the button again, there's a little raised part in the top of the piston that goes up into the pre-combustion chamber that creates the pressure for ignition your, that is your injector so that's going into the pre-combustion chamber so as that little doofer comes up the top dead center that's where your ignition is happening and then as it goes down that's opened up the full cylinder and then it just proceeds like a regular diesel engine. Just looking at the rest of the engine, uh, there's obviously fuel pumps there. This is a four cylinder one. And if we come around here, you can see the crankshaft working underneath there. And like I say, that's your camshaft driving the pistons, only one of which seems to actually be working, uh, driving the uh, Valves, I should say. And that's it, that's that's the Glenifer engine.